Hello again, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today, showing you around this beast. This is a, a late 2008 Land Rover Discovery 3. Uh, it's a GS model, it's a six speed manual. Finished in this lovely uh, metallic silver paintwork. It's got a black cloth interior, seven seats. It's got the tinted glass as you can see on the uh, rear from the, the B pillar. Um, it's had five owners. It's got an MOT until December 2023. Um, it's got a couple of issues, which means we are going to sell this as a trade only sale. So it'll be sold as seen without any warranty. Um, and I will, yeah, obviously get any customers to, to sign that they understand that, you know, no warranty, no returns. We're going to sell it on cheap um, at trade money just to move it on. We took it in part exchange. Um, and well, the faults with it are the, the handbrake works fine, but it, uh, it has an auto release function. So if you've got the handbrake on and you put it in gear to pull away, it should release the handbrake that part of the handbrake isn't working. But uh, when you're stationary and you turn it on it's, and off, it's fine. But uh, yeah, it won't, um, won't auto release. And the second issue is there's a whine, I think coming from the release bearing on the, in the clutch, because it whines in, in all of the gears, um, doesn't do it in neutral um, when you're moving. So I don't think it's, either of the diffs or the transfer case. Uh, the clutch works perfectly, it's, the bike point's nice and central. The car drives exceptionally well, but uh, I've got too many cars at the moment to take on another project, so uh, we're just gonna shift it on as she is. Um, but anyway, let me show you the condition. Um, so it's done just over 143,000 miles. And on the whole, I'd say it's in, in nice presentable shape. The uh, this front wing's in good shape. This bumper corner's good. There's a little bit of paint flake there, probably from a stone chip. There is a little scuff on the front there, but both the lights are nice and clear. The grill's all good. Another bit of paint flake. I'm assuming this has been painted before, which is why it's got a bit of flake on it. Um, there's a bit. It's take, obviously taken a bit of a knock on this wheel arch because you can see it's it's come come away slightly as well but the uh, the rest of this wings nice it's got these nice um, 20 inch alloys these are actually off of a Range Rover Sport an L320 uh, it's got a nearly new set of tires on it absolutely loads of life in them no lip on the discs and the pads are nice and thick driver's door a couple of little Car park door, ding marks, but on the whole, nice and presentable. Same could be said for the rear door. Got a little one there, little scratch here. Yeah, it's got the tinted uh, windows as well. Don't think they're factory tints, I think they were done after. Um, onto the rear quarter again. Got a little scuff on this wheel arch here. Another nice. 20 inch uh, wheel with a nearly new tire on. Honestly, these are probably done less than 500 miles, I'd say, all four tires. <coughs> Excuse me, round to the rear. And both the lights are nice and clear, no moisture in them. The bumper has got, that's probably the worst mark on the car. It's obviously taken a small knock there. And there's a couple of other, you know, just general wear and tear marks for a car of this age and mileage, to be fair. Um, so it does have seven seats. They're down at the moment. Near side rear court is pretty good. Another little scuff on the, the wheel arch there, uh, but this wheel's nice and 
nice and straight, couple of curbing marks around it. Rear discs and pads have got lots of life in them as well. The near side rear door has got a bit of a scratch. Don't know whether that's been touched in before. You see it extends to here, so it's had a little rub down both the near side doors. Otherwise, they're nice and straight, no real dents in them. There's a bit of a car park door thing there, just taking a bit of paint off. Both wing mirrors are good. Windscreen's not got any chips or cracks in it. Got another little scuff on this uh, wheel arch. Finally, another nice 20 inch wheel. Bit of curbing on it, but yeah, nearly new tyre. Distant pads, I don't think they're very old at all. So externally, as you would expect for, uh, for the age of miles, to be honest, Inside's very clean. So we've got um, these nice sort of grey and black cloth seats. There's no rips or tears in any of them. Door cards are all nice and clean. It's a bit of wear on the uh, um, gear stick gator and the radio screen stopped working because it looks like it's taken a knock on it there. Nice door card. Rear seats are um, exceptionally clean. Really, really tidy. Show you the other side. Nice door card. Nice seats. No seats, uh, no wear on the backs of the seats either. Driver's door card, driver's seat. I must say, these cloth seats wear a lot better than the uh, the leather ones. Right, it's beeping at me because the key's in the ignition. Starts and runs really well. Um, sadly, I don't have any service history with the car. It's been lost by the previous owner. It has been serviced, obviously, throughout its life, but... Uh, yeah, he lost it all, so there we are. Air suspension works perfectly, the diff lock works perfectly, as does the all-terrain systems. The, um, the only fault we'll see come on the dash, if I turn the handbrake off, it might pop up. Maybe if I move it back and forward. There we go. So the park brake fault, the auto release is not functional. So that's the really the only electronic fault that uh, the car's got. And the, the whining, um, which yeah, I, th I don't know for sure, but I think is probably the release bearing from the clutch, um, is in all the gears. Um, yeah, it still drives perfectly fine. Doesn't affect the way that it, uh, that it drives. It does have dual zone climate with air con. Um, everything in here works as it should, with the exception of that screen, obviously. You get out and you hear the 2.7, which runs really well. Pulls well in all the gears. Yeah, there she is. Our part exchange to clear Disco 3 2.7 TDV6 GS.